Hello and thank you for joining me. I'm Heather Forgan of stampwithnelly.com. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator based in the UK. A month or so ago I used some of these coffee sachets, they're flavoured coffees, in some of my customer gifts and um, I had a few extra so I thought I would do something else with them and I've created this little pouch for them um, using the Dandy Garden designer series paper and the Dragonfly Garden stamp set using the stamp the Dragonfly that has a solid body for this um, and the thank you for your kindness stamp and also this gorgeous little metal ladybug. So I'm going to show you quickly how to make these. They would be a lovely little gift for a coffee lover. I've got another idea of something to put in so I'll try that with this one. Um, I have got another project using this stamp and this dragonfly that I've already made and will be on my blog in the next day or two, I can't remember, um, but very, very soon. So um, look out for that as well if you like this dragonfly garden stamp set. So I'm using Dandy Garden Designer Series paper. I've chosen this one this time. Really lovely, big, bold patterns on them, um, but some of them are a bit... Uh, less in your face maybe. Um, I think I've shown most of this paper before but there are some sheets that coordinate with the Dragonfly Punch that comes as part of the Dragonfly Garden Bundle um, but there are some other um, beautiful designs of stripes and uh, those bees are just the cutest as well. There is a die in one of the other, the other bundle that's in this same suite um, that, that cuts those out. Um, and I've definitely used that as well. So Dandy Garden Designer Series paper. It is six by six inches and I'm just going to use the full sheet. And bring in my, make sure you can see that. Now with this, I want my pattern to be going that way. So starting um, with my paper the way that I want it, I'm going to score along that top edge there at one and three quarter inches and four and one inch. So this is going to be my bottom off the pouch and I'm just going to score along there at half an inch. So that's all you need to do. Those measurements will be on my blog. There will be a link to that blog in the description bar below so that you can go over there and see um, all of the measurements and all of the products that I've used. I'll also have a link to the products that I've used in the description bar so that you can click on that and go over to my online stamping up shop. So we've got three sections of that small half inch panel at the bottom there. We only want to keep the middle one and take out those outer two. So I'm actually going to do it this side because I can see it better snip just up to your horizontal score line and then along that score line to take that bit out. Okay, same on this side, just cut along that score line, take that out. I'm also going to do a tiny little wedge on that panel that's remaining. There's a generous overlap on there, so you could shorten 
either of paper if you wanted. I just thought it was easier just to stick with the 6x6 six six designer series paper rather than trimming it down to perhaps five and a half. So I've got a, a line of glue on that edge and a line of glue on there. And that means we've got a nice join at either side on the inside and the outside there. And similarly, I'm just going to add some glue to that bottom panel and fold that up. So it's kind of like an envelope. Um, oops, a little bit generous with my glue there. there so that's the construction of that done. I am going to use oops, Calypso Coral ink. I have already mounted the dragonfly. Let's make sure I've got that all covered. And I want to do that at the bottom of the page. And I'm also going to stamp my sentiment and I'll do that at the top of my scrap. Like that. Okay. Now I'm going to use two punches. Clear that out of the way. The dragonfly, obviously, but I'm also using the timeless label punch to cut out the sentiment. And I'm going to do that first. And then, that was close, wasn't it? <laughs> um, and then I'm going to use the dragonfly. Um, and the reason I did that one first was in case that top dragonfly punched into the bit I wanted for my label. Which it wouldn't have, but I wasn't wanting to take the risk. Okay, because it cuts that one out at the same time. Okay, let's not put that to the side. So we've got our two elements and I'm going to just glue that on. Definitely easier to glue it on before you put your contents in. Ask me how I know that one. and add in your dragonfly. Now, in my mind, dragonfly's tails curl up, so I've been curling mine up. Um, but I'm also just going to add some glue just off to one side and place that So that one can come up and its tail can stay up like that. Another little bit of decoration is one of these little cuties. Ladybug trinkets and I'm going to just add that on with a glue dot. For the glue dot there and slide that off Oops. don't want to turn it over there we go okay I want him crawling up the way like that there we are Those glue dots may well be mini, but they really are quite strong. So we'll definitely keep that little guy in place. And I just want to punch a couple of holes near the top. There we go. 
so that I can then thread this mossy meadow coloured twine through there. So, with my other one, I just popped in my two coffee sashes and that was fine. What my idea for this one is to pop in a chocolate biscuit and that fits as well. So, I will just tie that through. Now this twine does free at the end, which is really quite nice because you can um, pull it apart and it, it looks wider and you see more of the, the braided detail to it. Um, but it does mean when you poke it through the holes that you've punched that it will sometimes just fray at the end, but you can trim that off as well if you don't want the frayed look. I think given that this is a nice rustic looking paper and design, um, then actually the frayed end does look the part. So I am just going to chop that there. And it's a bit long anyway, so I'll chop that there. And there we go. We have Two little treats, one with two coffees inside and one with a chocolate biscuit inside and uh, you can probably guess what's going to happen once I've stopped filming. I'm going to go and get myself a cup of coffee and just tidy up that extra biscuit. I hope you've enjoyed today's project. As I say, all of the details are in the link in the description bar below. If you're not already a subscriber to my YouTube channel, I'd love it if you did that. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye bye.